day. The name of the area has been officially recognized with clearly defined borders for the first time in history. The culturally rich and colorful community was previously divided into three sections under Dutch derived names. On the slopes of Signal Hill, with majestic views of Table Mountain and the city center, lies the Boer Cup. Formerly known as the Malay Quarter, the area is steeped in history and culture. Many of the current residents' ancestors were slaves and political exiles. The rows of colorfully painted houses and authentic cobbled streets add to the area's uniqueness. With its largely Muslim population and culture, the Boer Cup was divided into three, Skotchekloof, Stadzicht and Skonekloof. Today, the name Boer Cup is official. What is significant today, we have lost our slave name after 300 years. And I think for us in Boer Cup, that was worth celebrating. Um, we're not represented any longer by Dutch names, but by a name that people always call Boer Cup by. Um, even people from District 6 back in the days always said, now we're going, what's that Boer Cup to? It clops to, what's that Boer Cup to, you know. The festivities included a Dukmal walk along the new four kilometer boundary of the area as residents celebrated the historic renaming. One of the community's concerns, however, is the area losing its cultural heritage. Gentrification will destroy us. And if we don't do something about it, because we must remember tourists come here, not only for buildings. Tourists come here to taste the samosas, taste the food and smell the spices. Without that, work up will no longer be work up. Government has committed itself to working with the community to preserve the history and culture, but also to ensure economic opportunity. People want to see something different. They don't only come to pretty places. They want to have authentic experiences. So there's massive tourism potential here. The challenge is to translate tourism growth into job opportunities and income earning opportunities. We're offering a partnership from government side to build an alternative economic empowerment model that preserves the community, a culture and a history and at the same time provides economic opportunities for local people. In the Poor Cup, no celebration is ever really complete without the sights and sounds of a minstrel troupe making its way through the quaint streets in celebration of a significant moment in history. Vanessa Kuna, SABC News, Cape Town.